Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about Google Shopping audiences. Audiences is actually like a remarketing setup which you can uh, put layered over your uh, current campaign, your PLA campaign, or you can create a new one which is uh, then target and bid. So you can have two types of options when you are uh, targeting audiences, which is target and bid and bid only. Bid only is intended for layering over your existing uh, bidding system, while target and bid means that you are actually only going to target whom has already been in your remarketing list. So for that kind of setup, you have to be aware that you want to have a normal campaign and then a remarketing campaign, while bid only is actually intended to just have one campaign which targets both the normal uh, search terms and people who have then uh, been added to your remarketing list. Um, Alongside the remarketing list, you can also use the customer emails. Um, so those are the two types of targeting methods you can use. And, uh, but today we're going to talk about the remarketing list and uh, what the differences are, uh, just a little bit more in detail. So when you use target and bid, you've got your keywords and your marketing list that both need to be uh, matched to a search. So for example, if I'm searching for a t-shirt and that is one of my keywords and the customer has already been to your website, then this will then trigger a ad. Both the keyword bid and the bid adjustment will be uh, added. So for example, if you have 50 cents on your normal keyword and your bid adjustment is plus 20, for example, then it will add 20% to your normal bid. Now, if you have a search term and a visitor that has never been visited your website, this setup will not work. So you need a normal keyword setup without the audience uh, with target and bid, and then with this one. Now, let's before we go and continue why this is a quite cool setup, let's go and use bid only. So here we have a scenario. You can have a uh, visitor that uses the keyword, uh, for example, t-shirt. If it matches, matches just with, key, uh, with the keyword, it will go and trigger a bid and your normal uh, bid will be then uh, used. Or if it also matches up to your marketing, remarketing list, then it will then match as well and add on top your bid adjustment. Of course, you can have like a, a negative adjustment, uh, but you can also have a positive uh, adjustment. So for example, plus 20, plus 40, or minus 20 and minus 40 for when it matches the remarketing. Now this is pretty good if you have a small campaign and you don't want to have a separate uh, campaign for your um, keywords, the normal search terms, visitors, and for your remarketing list. So it's, it's good to have them combined. If you have a small setup, then this is a good idea. However, this is a great setup if you want to know what the search terms are for um, remarketing people, uh, well, people that are triggered in the remarketing. So let's say the t-shirt is the first uh, keyword that has been triggered, but then, you know, because he hasn't uh, converted yet, the second time he might be uh, searching for t-shirts and then like red or um, fruit loom, which is a brand of a uh, t-shirt. So let's say he uses Fruit Loom t-shirt or Fruit Loom red t-shirt or whichever, a combination of search, uh, search terms in the remarketing list, then you can see what the, the search terms are being used for the remarketing and then you can actually improve your text in the titles and description so you can have a much better optimized uh, search term. Um, I mean, much optimized uh, data feed for your titles. So uh, this is pretty good for setting up a new campaign, but you can of course you know, change it to so that you've got your normal campaign and then change it into an existing one or, or etc. But you don't really want to lose the data, so it's good to set this up to a new campaign and focus on target and bid and not bid only. So as I mentioned here, you can find the search terms triggered by the remarketing list so that you can do your own research and optimize your data feed 
And um, when you set this type up with a normal campaign, there's one key element you need to be aware of. In the settings of the campaign, you can choose the priority settings. You've got high, medium, and low. The difference is that when you have a high uh, priority settings, then Google will first go to this campaign, do all the, the, the search and, and see if it matches up, then go to the medium and then low. So when you have set up target and bid in the, into your audiences, then you need to set that campaign as high because we want the search terms to first see if it matches up both the keyword and the remarketing list. If it doesn't match any of those, go to the medium or the low campaign and then, which is just the normal one. So you have got a campaign that does not have an audience uh, remarketing list, but the high priority campaign, you do have a remarketing list added. Um, so that's what you need to set up. So uh, to rehash, if you have a big uh, company, uh, you're a big merchant reseller, then this kind of setup target and bid with two campaigns where you have just your normal uh, keyword targeting, then a campaign that has the remarketing list. Um, the remarketing list one, you want to have the campaign priority set to high and the normal keyword uh, um, campaign, you want to have medium or low. This uh, kind of setup bid only, you don't have to change anything into your uh, settings um, or for the priority. Um, but what you want to be aware of that I have another uh, video that uh, explains how to set up a very good uh, campaign with branded search terms versus generic search terms. So you have to then uh, take into consider consideration of that kind of setup um, so that you don't kind of mess up the type. Um, so we, we'll talk about how to set up everything in combination, um, but we need to do uh, to have a different kind of setup um, because you know if you have, for example, a campaign that's in medium or high, and it's, it can all get messed up, and then you get no traffic whatsoever. But if you're just doing this without the branded and generic search terms, then this is a perfect setup. Um, so I highly recommend using audiences because it does generate extra conversions that you normally don't have because it's people that uh, are a little bit in between like deciding should I buy from this company or shouldn't I? I'm, am I still researching? You can then just bitch higher for those specific customers and then get them back onto your website and get a conversion. So that's pretty much Google Shopping audiences. Uh, you can also have that, for example, with your dynamic ads and your text ads, but this video is, is designed for uh, Google Shopping. Um, and I hope you've learned a lot. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer every single question. And thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.